Dragon's Dogma 2 comes out in officially less than a day, so let's look at some amazing creations right here. Starting off with Mr. Christian Bale. Shout out to the person who did this. You can look right here for all the credits. And shout out to everybody else I'm gonna feature in this video, but check this out. Now this looks okay, right? Let me show you a couple more screenshots, there you go. And there you go, from the front with this lighting, it actually looks like the real person. Here's another shot without the beard, and this still looks awesome. Maybe you could use this as a base for your own main character. Now this guy tried to do Markiplier, and here it kind of looks a little weird, right? It's not a 100% thing we're looking for, but with this hair, all of a sudden, it looks way better. Day and night. Night and day is such a big difference. And talking about day and night, why don't we go to the dark side with Anakin Skywalker right here. The chosen one. Look at the eyes. I've also seen many Orlando Blooms in this and here it doesn't look great. I gotta be honest here. When you look at it from this angle, it looks so much better. And guess what? You're gonna be playing the game like this most of the time anyway. So I wanted to add this one in here too. It is a very impressive creation. <laughs> you can play as Senua from Hellblade because guess what? The second game of this is never gonna come out, man. So at least you can enjoy playing as her in Dragon's Dogma 2. And here's Luffy played by Inaki. I thought this was just amusing. I mean, the face is amazing. He kind of looks like Mr. Bean at the same time. Uh, the chin, the, the head in general is super interesting. In fact, someone posted this right here. And I think I think I agree. It just made me laugh when I first saw it. Here's something else that made me smile. This is Inigo, the Skyrim modded follower. And he makes it to freaking this dogma too. I mean, I love it. Like, I absolutely love it. It's, it's crazy. It's insane. Here's another great one, Mr. Homelander. Honestly, if you're gonna play as Homelander, you should download like a trailer, find a way to cheat and one-shot everybody because, I mean, that's the only proper way to do it. But there you go, I think the guy did a pretty decent job. He also tried creating Omni-Man and I actually love everything but the mustache. Like, I think the length of it is okay, but like, maybe it's too thick. I'm, I'm not sure. Something is off about it is all I can say. But I think he absolutely killed it with this one. Look at Thanos in Dragon's Dogma 2. <laughs> wow. And these are all have been the same person. He's been on fire. Look at Jason Momoa here. I think it looks kind of meh. But when you add in the beard, now it starts looking a lot better. I specifically love this one right here. Jack from Mass Effect in DD2. And she was my Roma Inception. The first one I picked. So I had to get her in here. You know what I mean? Here's a different take on Inigo. And for the Elder Scroll fans in the building, especially Moravind, look at this. This is so good. Like, they got the eyes properly done. The difference between that, the, the bone structure, the ears. Absolutely amazing. And this right here is Valkyrie. I believe she is a Twitch streamer. So this is what she looks like IRL. I tried to find a couple of pictures. You make the judgment yourself. But I think the person has done a pretty pretty good job. Next up is Asmongold. And I think this is, yeah, this is what he looks like in real life too. This is perfect. We don't need to see real life footage. Extremely realistic. I like it. This one is, well, I don't, I don't know if I should say anything about this one. <laughs> Next up is my absolute favorite, Mr. Bully McGuire. Look at this. It's got the slick smile, the hair, everything. Perfect. Just perfect. And I actually love this post because, like he says here, night and day. It just shows the difference in quality from Dragon's Dogma 1 to 2 when it comes to the graphics. This is... A super clear upgrade in every aspect. Here's Padme from Star Wars and she definitely doesn't like sand. And if you like Natalie Portman, because hey, she is a beautiful woman. There's a, there's a way you can get her in Dragon's Dogma too. So we got Cristiano Ronaldo. This was funny. Like this one kind of looks a little strange. But when you change the lighting, when you change the hair a little bit, this actually looks legit. Here's another angle. <laughs> Look, they even gave him like earrings with tattoos. It's kind of sad that we can't do, you know, like blemishes, beauty marks. Obviously, the character creation has some limits to it. But look at what people come up with. This is one of the best creations I've ever seen. Scarlett Johansson, a great sight to look at. It looks super, super accurate, at least to me. Let me know what you guys think. And let's keep being impressed because check this one out. So these are all tattoos just used in a very creative way let's zoom in to the neck let's zoom in to the tie highs then you got the arms kudos absolutely kudos and they posted the sliders too so if you want to give your character like a cool neck accessory or even this whole shebang you can go ahead and do it here's another unique one this is donnie Yen in two different movies 
and actually three different movies maybe even four i'm not sure and ladies and gentlemen and of course we got some Geralt's in the building i thought this was the best looking Geralt that was based upon the video game version it was made by this person and i got another Geralt lined up and he's actually quite impressive so stay tuned here is pinocchio from lies of p and i think the person did a pretty good job like it doesn't look one to one the same this here p is obviously much younger in comparison to here but you know you can still use it as your main pawn or, or your main character because at the end of the day it just looks cool here is kratos from god of war another one of course and this time it looks a lot more detailed i thought that was impressive so i wanted to show you Here's another unique one, Solus from Dragon Age Inquisition. And if it ever comes out, Dreadwolf. He's definitely looking way younger, like way more Vogue. Beautiful, I guess, here. But of course, if you play the Inquisition, you will immediately recognize him. And this one takes the cake for not the best, but the cutest creation. I mean, look at the face. Oh my god, it's so fluffy. I just want to pet it all the time. <laughs> and there you go. Here's the actual cat. I love the fact that people create their pets. Honestly, I just want to get a cat so I can do this too. <laughs> Here are some more beast creations. Exactly, we don't see too many of them. So there you go. A nice lion. Another female version. Kind of looks like a tiger, but has the nice hair. We also don't see too many dwarf looking characters. This is basically, you know, Gimli from Lord of the Rings, in my opinion. He's still tall, but you can make him shorter. And here is another thing that just made me have goosebumps. This is Bruce Lee. I mean, do I have to tell you? Look at him. This is perfectly done incredible job incredible job shout out to this person right here man awesome with sliders too so absolute goat here's another attempt at wukong obviously as you can see it's not perfect the skin color could be better the hair color could be better in dragon's dogma character creator but still the fact that you can do something like this i am still very much impressed here's rogue from x-men just one screenshot but i guess something like this would have been the inspiration Here's something I really, really like because here's Kiryu, the dragon of dogma. I really like the fact that he did the different hairstyles too. And I would love to see other people from the Yakuza series. Let's get some Goro Majima in here, you know what I mean? This right here is super creative, the sun and Luna. I mean, look at it. Look at the details. Look at the hair. Super creative way to use that hair. And Luna being the moon. Here's another Anakin Skywalker, the chosen one. And this one is a lot more mean looking. I know, I know, it's another Kratos, but he has a look from the original games. And it actually looks realistic and not cartoonish like some of the other ones I've seen before. So I thought I should include this one as well. Here's just a sick looking creation. I really just like the tattoos, the detail on the eye, the hairstyle. Absolutely same with this one. Here is Santa. I mean, look how handsome he looks. Oh my goodness. And this might be the only orc I've seen so far, but it looks perfect. Speaking of perfection, we're going to boost up the female numbers here watching this video. So here's Timothy Charlemagne. I had to show this one again because, I mean, just look at it. Look at it. It's very well showcased. It's very well done. Just like this creation right here, Prince of Persia from Sands of Time, one of my favorite games just from my childhood. And hopefully the remake is good, but at least you can play as in Dragon's Dogma, just like Senua. And I think, I think it looks pretty good. Here is, don't kill me for this. Killian Murphy? Cillian Murphy? You let me know. Yeah, Peaky and Blinders, mate. Here he is. It actually looks pretty good. And this is the dead man, the Phenom, the Undertaker, one of the best wrestlers of all time. A bit of a hot take, but he might even look better than he does in the WWE games. I'm not sure. Obviously, the WWE game is a lot more accurate. Like, this isn't shabby at all. I imagine myself picking him as a warrior. I might even do, like, a YouTube series playing Dragon's Dogma as The Undertaker. Who knows? It's the second version of Tom Holland. And in the last one, the forehead was way too big. That problem is now gone. And therefore, I think this one looks actually way better. Here's Lady Burke, another person creating their cat in the game. Thinking she's super cute, man. We just need this serotonin every once in a while. Here's Sorcerer Selim with the sliders too. And I thought she just looked remarkable. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Your quintessential dark-haired sorcerer. I'm sure someone has done it already because they've done literally everything here. But if they haven't yet, someone should create Morrigan from Dragon Age Origins. Here's another person creating themselves in the game. And boom. I think uh, he's pretty successful and I could never do this. I have no understanding of how people pull this off, but yeah, it's good. Same with this person right here. Like, how do you do this? Just very talented. <laughs> here's, here's another very talented creation right here. Man, his hair never looks so good. Not in his life. Oh man, especially from this side. I think most of the characters end up looking great because of the 
awesomeness of the base head models. Like, they're just so high quality. And here is He-Man from the 80s. I thought this was like Kevin Von Eric or like a professional wrestler at first, but no. It's He-Man and I'd say it's pretty accurate. Here's another Arisen based off of Nobody, just an original creation. That I should look great. And guess what? The person sent their sliders. So if you want your main character to look like this or maybe your pawn to look like this, go ahead. Here's Ana de Armas. And she looks great both in the game and in real life. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the one I've been talking to you about. Look at this Geralt based off of Henry Cavill from the Netflix Witcher series. This is honestly impressive. This is the first Geralt I can say without a shadow of a doubt that looks good, that I'm truly impressed by. I would play as this Geralt, no questions asked. So, incredible job. So here's another creation from the same person. I believe they tried to make Gal Gadot. I can't say that it looks like her too much, but another great looking character. Here is a different version of Christian Bale going back to the very beginning of the video. This one is way more rugged and, you know, it has longer hair and looks badass. That's the most important part. Here's something that I've found to be cute. This is Makima from Chainsaw Man and there you go. Here's Jon Snow with the sliders. Let's check out how it looks. Okay, look at that. That's actually from that angle. This person cooked. Wow, yeah, this person cooked. So this is Jennifer Connelly from the 90s and it's a great looking creation because <laughs> the model it was based off of like, yeah, I mean, need I say more? And I believe here's another actor, Anna Sawai, and I think she looks cool, especially like it's a bit different having this, you know, hair with this one sticking out with the highlight. I thought it was cool. Here's something a little different, Raven right here. And this right here is a very unique beast band creation. This might be even a human, I'm not too sure, but apparently it's, apparently it's modeled after Dracula the Beast. And here's another attempt at Daenerys Targaryen. I can't say that it looks too accurate, but the model that they ended up with, the creation that they ended up with, it actually looks very remarkable. So I think it's, it's still a win. It's definitely still a win right here. Here's another influencer, Bella Porch. Only one picture, but hey, if you want to play as an e-girl, I think, I think you just found your creation. And it does have the sliders right here, so you're in luck. Here's another Egypt-deemed creation. And I actually very much like this one. This might be one of my favorites in the entire video, especially under this lighting. The gold is glistening. The hairstyle, is, it's the... I like it. And here's a live look in a video of the same Undertaker, I believe. Got the tattoos as well. That's that's awesome detail. But yeah, pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. And Mario Lopez, okay, the same person made a Urukai right here named Lurt. I mean, you can, you can see it for yourself. And finally, I will end it with this unique looking creation. They tried to create Deadpool and you know what? I gave them a pass. I think they succeeded. But that's going to be the end of the list. The game is coming out real soon. There's a lot of choices you got to make. Who's going to be your main character and who's going to be your main pawn? I know it's a difficult choice, but I hope I was able to help you guys find a creation that you really, really like. And guess what? If you're not satisfied with this, check out this video for 120 plus more creations. Trust me, you are going to find something that you like over there. And that being said, I'm getting out of here.